Number 22 on the 12. Now, this is a really, like, it's, it's kind of a very common problem, as, as you might think. We have these three circles, each with radii 1, 2, and 3. We're asked to find the radius of this tiny r. So there's two ways you can kind of do this. One is kind of the cheat code way, if you know this Gardais circle theorem, which is actually in the book of mathematical formulas, by the way. And another way is if you don't know that formula, which is honestly, it's not a very widely, you know, it's not a very, it's not a formula that you use a lot. So it's not like something you're expected to know and you should have known. So it's definitely a very niche formula. So I'll show you a, a way you could figure it out if you didn't know the formula. So one is kind of like the cheat code way. It's pretty simple. The, the formula is just saying that, okay, because it's externally tangent, we have this Gardner's rule of science, one over R plus one over R squared squared plus one over two squared plus one over one squared one over three squared one half plus one plus one third squared right this is the discarded rule of science two times the sum of the squares equals the, the sum squared and then something interesting here let's say we were asked to find a circle around all of this then by just, we, all we would do is you would just make the curvature would just be negative. So we would have negative one over R here. And this would just be the same because squaring it. So yeah, that's how we, that's just this general setup equation. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go through the calculation here, but you can, this is pretty, a pretty straightforward calculation. We literally, we would just get like a very simple quadratic or not even a quadratic. It would just become, it would just become linear because linear in terms of one over R. And then we would just solve this pretty simply. Now let me show you how you would approach this like without any of that kind of knowledge because it's not reasonable to expect necessarily expect this. So let's see how you know we might figure that out without without this discarded circle rule. So r one and then let's see r two. Oops, that's not how two looks. Okay, so the key thing here is you might notice is three, four, five, and that's really the key idea here. This is a right angle. So whatever this angle is here, this angle is 90 minus that angle. And we're really going to exploit this condition here. Okay. So this, seg okay, there's kind of multiple ways you can go about doing this. One way is, I I'm just going to outline both ways. One way is using trig. You could do r plus 1, 3, and then use law of cosines on this, and then do law of cosines, law of cosines again with this. And then we, have, we just replace cosine 90 minus theta with sine of theta, and then we can do some manipulation, you know, squaring it and stuff. I think that method is a little bit more complicated than just using coordinates. And coordinates becomes really nice here because we, we have, we have the, this is the right angle. So let's just say this is x, y. Let's say this is 0, 0, right? We can just set it to whatever we want. Let's say this is x, y. So we have x squared plus y squared. Square root of that is r plus 1, so r equals r plus 1 squared. Okay, and we get very similar conditions here. Let's say this is 3, 0. And that's what's really nice about coordinates is this right triangle makes it so nice and clean with coordinates. So let's say 3 minus x squared plus y squared equals r plus 2 squared. And then let's say, uh, you know, x squared plus y minus 4 squared equals r plus 3 squared. Yeah, and then now we just have a system of equations to solve. And, and, and the idea is we want to represent, let's just work through it, right? Let's just expand this out. Don't want it to be crammed here. Okay, and then we'll just move. So the key thing here is what makes this really nice is if we expand this out, it's almost the same as the first equation x squared minus 6x plus 9. So like, just something cool to know, whenever we have this, I, I always just mentally think of it as x minus 3 squared, because the negative inside is not doing anything to the square. And that makes it much easier to think of this. Just a simple trick to, to keep in mind there. r plus 2 squared. And notice that we know that x squared plus y squared is r plus 1 squared. So we have r plus 1 squared minus 6x plus 9 equals r plus 2 squared. And then let's use this color. Okay, 
r squared plus 2r plus 1 minus 6x plus 9 r squared plus 4r plus 4 so minus 6x 9 minus 6x equals 2r plus 3 And now we're going to do something very similar here. I'm going to move the, the, the cheat code solution to the left. And now we just kind of expand it out. x squared. x squared plus y squared minus 8y plus 16 equals r plus 3 squared. x squared plus y squared, we just substitute that. Yeah, this is a, overall you can see is a pretty straightforward calculation, I guess. So 16 minus 8y is r plus 3 squared minus r plus 1 squared. And we can just use difference of squares here, a nice little shortcut. So that's r plus 3 minus r plus 1 times r plus 3 plus r plus 1, so 2r plus 4. And now we're just going to divide 8, or divide by 4, really. You can divide by 4. So 4 minus 2y equals r plus 2. Okay, so now we've got these kind of nice relationships here. And we, we're going to go sub, try and substitute it back to our original condition because we really care about r. So let's just say um, 2y is 4, 4 minus r plus 2. That's equal to 2 minus r, right? So 2 minus r is 2y. And then similarly here, we get that 9. So 6, 6 minus 2r is 6x. So now we just substitute that back. x squared plus y squared equals r plus 1 squared. That would be 6 minus 2r. 6 minus 2r squared, that's 6x squared. So let's just say that this is 6x squared plus 6y squared equals 6r plus 6 squared. Okay, and then now let's substitute x. We'll substitute 6x as 6 minus 2r. So yeah, this is a pretty straightforward from here. 6y is just 3, we'll just say it's 6 minus 3r, right? Equals 6r plus 6 squared. And then again, the same trick of just flipping the order mentally. So times 2, 6, 2, so that's minus 24r plus 36. You know, 9r squared minus 2 times 6 times 3, 36r plus 36 equals 6r squared, 36r squared, plus 72r plus 36. Okay, so we just move terms, we get 23r squared, plus 60r to both sides, plus 132r, and then we get uh, minus, that would be about minus 72 to both sides, minus 36. Let's just double check here, we don't want to mess up the C, plus 60r to both sides, minus 13r squared to both sides, and minus 72 to both sides. Okay, this looks good. Okay, now something, a, a neat trick for actually solving this quadratic here is we, we can just do, we can just solve the quadratic r squared plus 132r minus 36 times 23. And then whatever solutions you get for here, we divide by 23 to get the solutions for there. So how do we solve this over here? Let's see, six times 23, let's, let's 36 times 23. Let's try and guess and check here. So 36, 23, oh, what about six times 23? That's 138 and six. We could say this is r plus 138 times r minus six. And this does indeed work. So r equals six because r cannot be negative. And then of course we divide by 23 here to get r equals six over 23. And that's our final answer. So there's three kind of ways to solve this problem using trig, using coordinates. I'm sure there's some other ways. And then the, of course the cheat code solution is just Descartes circle rule. So yeah, cool problem with many different solutions. Pretty standard. I think you can see this problem in many other contests before. So this theorem could definitely be something that's worth knowing, especially, you know, this externally tangent case, if we have like that, the radius, we just substitute minus one over R there. So yeah, hope, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.